Now, Paul is going to Rome, and we come now to the 27th chapter. Let me say a word as we enter this chapter. This might be called the fourth missionary journey of Paul that we're going to enter upon. And I'm inclined to think that's what it ought to be called. He was just as active when he went to Rome. He exercised the same latitude. He made as many contacts. He witnessed just as faithfully. Chains did not hinder him, although he's in chains. He's the one who said that he was bound, but the gospel was not bound. And that the things that had happened to him, he told the Philippians, it happened for the furtherance of the gospel. God's in all of this, friends. The trip this time, though, is to be a little different. It's to be made at the expense of the Roman government. They're going to pay for his fare because he's a prisoner. And it's in fulfillment of this prayer that he prayed and asked the Romans to pray that he might come to Rome. Now, when Paul appealed to Caesar, his case was, you can see, removed out of the jurisdiction of Governor Festus and King Agrippa. As King Agrippa said, he might have been set at liberty if he'd not appealed to Caesar. But we can't do anything about it now. Nothing further to do now but to send Paul to Rome. And they did this, and you have the record here in this 27th chapter. And we have an account of the voyage, and it might be called the log of the ship that we have here. And I want to tell you at this point that the 27th chapter of Acts has been described or has been considered the finest description of a sea voyage in the ancient world, the finest that's on record. And it's so regarded today. Sir William Ramsey, who made a study of Dr. Luke, he considers it a masterpiece and as most accurate that's ever been written. And we're coming now to another great chapter of the Bible, as you can see. Now, those of you that have studied Caesar in Latin, you'll recall the account of the building of a bridge That was always and still is a bane to all who study Latin. And the reason is that you've got so many new Latin words there that you've never seen before because they pertain to a bridge. Well, actually, this chapter in the Greek corresponds to that because you have so many technical terms. Luke gives us in technical language the voids. All right, now the ship's ready to sail. Let's take off now with the Apostle Paul, and we're going to take a sea voyage to Rome. This is really a travelogue we're having in the book of Acts, and I trust you've enjoyed this travel that we're making.